Hey everybody, welcome to another Pro Acoustics Tech Talk. I'm Nathan, and today we're going to be answering the question, what is an audio mixer used for? All right, so the question comes up a lot. Uh, what is an audio mixer for? Why do I need a mixer? Uh, so an audio mixer is a device used to control and manipulate various audio signals from different sources. Now, the term mixer may make you think of like large mixing boards in the back of the concert, uh, concert hall, right? You know, with all the faders and knobs or, you know, some huge recording studio with uh, big massive sliders everywhere. Um, but that's not necessarily the only type of mixer that there is floating around out there. There's actually lots of different kinds of mixers and different shapes and sizes. Um, and they all serve basically the same kind of purpose, but still kind of apply to uh, even your small scale type application that you may have going on. So why do we need mixers? What, what do mixers do? First thing that mixers do is they combine multiple audio sources. So a mixer is going to allow you to connect lots of devices, playback devices, microphones, uh, things like that, where you might need to set volumes at different levels. Um, you know, your wireless mic um, for the school assembly, but also the Bluetooth receiver so that you can play music. Those need to be combined, first of all, and then played at different volumes. Can't do that if you just plug it straight into an amplifier. Um, which leads to the next one, not just combining, but also level control. One of the most important um, aspects of a mixer is being able to control levels. Now, without complicating things, I have a mixer amplifier here and then just a normal mixer, normal rack mount mixer. Um, mixer amplifiers have a built-in amplifier to power the speaker also, whereas a normal mixer does not. Um, we have a separate video about that that I would invite you to take a look at if you're curious more about those differences. But the same basic idea here is that you have level control on these, um, on these mixers. Uh, on this uh, Pure Resonance Audio MX-9, I've got separate faders for each individual input. Looks like there's a ton of knobs if you look closely. Vertically, you have basically the same knobs repeated a bunch of times. Those are different inputs. So you've got a fader to adjust the volume. Um, just like on the uh, Pure Resonance Audio Mixer Amp, you've got a rotary dial or a knob to adjust the, uh, the volume of that input. From there, mixers also many times add equalization. Um, I've got a, a high, mid, and um, low e equalizer here on the, um, each channel of the MX-9. Um, I've also got bass and treble on the uh, MA-30. Um, so that basically gives you the ability to uh, fine tune the signal a little bit more um, before it feeds out to your amplifier and out to your speaker. Um, we also have pan control. Some mixers are stereo, some are mono. Um, but if you have a stereo mixer, you have a knob for panning, which means that you can send one input source just to the left or just to the right as desired. Some mixers also have effects processing built in, you know, reverb um, or delay, things like that, that you can dial in for maybe theatrical effects or maybe for, um, you know, improving vocal quality or, you know, making things sound a little bit more like a studio. Uh, so you have that option available as well. Um, also, routing and busing. Um, without getting too complicated, mixers many times have ways to send all their uh, input sources to other outputs, various outputs. You know, uh, say it's a recording output or an auxiliary output to feed stage monitors, um, or an auxiliary output to feed another set of um, speakers. You know, perhaps we need speakers in the locker room at the football stadium, or uh, down to the concession stand, or recording output. Um, basically, we have that option um, by using a mixer. Um, we also, you know, sometimes have mixers with built-in recorders built in, um, which can be very convenient. Um, so that's another way that we may be able to use a mixer. Uh, and then at the end of the day, we also are summing all of these inputs, as mentioned, into a couple of primary outputs, the main left and right in this case, and the main um, mono output in this case. Um, by doing all these things, we also um, are allowed to uh, basically help dial in the sound as much as we need with the equalization to help avoid feedback. Um, which is another very important function of mixers, being able to set the uh, sensitivity of the input correctly, being able to adjust the equalization to kind of fine tune the signal, um, combine um, all your inputs that you need and route them wherever you need to go. Um, so as we can see here, audio mixers come in various sizes and configurations, everything from small little portable mixers. I even have tiny mixers that are smaller than uh, my tablet here that uh, we can use in some cases if we just need to combine a couple of input sources. Give us a like or drop us a comment down below. Let me know you're watching, if I can help with any of your questions or anything else. And until next time, guys, take care.